Hey, this is Shiraz. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I cleared for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. I think something was triggered when you talked about uh, the money situation at the uh, beginning of your story. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the reasons why I'm scared if I have money is that I will have time to participate in things I don't want to do mm -hmm. or people will want more of my time and that my time is not my own. And also that if I'm not busy, they will hijack my time. Uh, I just find I keep getting myself into really busy situations. Like I just quit a full-time job. I only had it for two weeks, but it was a lot. Uh, but I'm still kind of excited not to tell anybody because I think that way, all those things that I was able to get out of having this full-time job yeah. will be my excuse to get rid of them. Um, yeah. I know that like, and I feel mean about it, but I just feel like their things seem to be a priority because they're usually conventional things like families and babies and all these different types of things that are normal to like have everybody drop what they're doing to, to go to or do where just you know my things are considered uh almost like the money with l like frivolous or selfish or just not important mm -hmm. i want to have the freedom to just do nothing and make no excuse like we've gone over this before and you know i i just find that right now i feel like it's my time i just it's very time related and so what's happening is you don't want to feel guilty for saying no. Okay. This is what happens with a lot of people. And the, the three biggest ways to make sure you don't feel guilty for saying no is to make sure you don't have enough money. So you're like, I can't afford that. You don't have enough time. I'm too busy to do that. Or you're sick. I, there's no way I'm sick. I can't do it. I've had all three of those. I've had <laughs> right? money loss and time loss in the last okay. month or two. Yeah. When you learn to say no without feeling guilt, you create so much freedom for yourself, right? And you don't have to have a reason. This is the thing. That's why you get these things, because you feel, I have to have a justifiable reason, so I'll make sure I don't have enough money, so I'm always working really hard to earn the money, so I don't have time to, to do that thing for you. I'm sorry. And it feels like, okay, this is justified now. It's also the command, like, this is very important to me. Can you please make it? Mm -hmm. you know yeah and who are you to say no to something that's very important to them All right but everyone's going to have an idea of what's what's most important based on their world their stories so you have to be willing to let people be disappointed angry <laughs> um, upset with with you because you're doing what's best for you and this still comes back to, you know, the air, oxygen mask and the drop in the plane. Who gets the mask first? If you're like, oh, I'm going to feel guilty, so I'm just going to give the mask away to whoever asked for it, then that's not going to leave you in a good position, right? So what's the worst that's going to happen if you say no? Oh, I guess they'll think that I'm... Uh not the person they thought I was, that I'm selfish and I'm caring and severe disappointment. Okay, so a lot going you know, on. No, my integrity will be, my integrity is very important to me. That is just something I feel I guard strongly. Mm -hmm. They'll just think, you know, you have no integrity. You, you said that you'd be there for me or whatever. So, Here's the thing, though. Or you'd rather sit on the couch and literally do 
like I literally sometimes it's it's that I just I don't know I feel like personally I I really just I actually loved the whole COVID lockdown because I got to just wake up and literally be able to do nothing if I pleased Mm -hmm. and sometimes it's like I don't have something better to do I'll make something better to do but I'm just not up for what they want me to do even though it's probably not that much well it is actually sometimes it involves lots of money and hotel rooms and and inconvenience yeah but and this this is why you have like number one you have to stop worrying about what other people think of you because that's that's what's driving this because it's interesting because you're saying i'm worried about my integrity but if you were truly in your integrity you'd say no without feeling guilty Mm, (laughs) yes the fact that you want them to look at you a certain way shows you're not in integrity (laughs) it's true it's true (laughs) i'm insincere which sucks even more because i have trouble accepting that so if you truly want to be in integrity then say no and make it a real no Mm. And they'll, they'll learn who you are and they'll either accept it or they'll move out of your life. And you have to be willing for either of those situations to show up. But the people that's, when you start just being you, when you become full integrity and like, no, I'm, I know you need help right now, but I'm going to sit, watch a movie and eat bonbons. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I need right now for me. Then they'll be like, okay, well, I get that. That's what Laura's going to do. And the thing is, you know me, you know that. I will help my clients however I can. But there have literally been nights where I'm sitting in my bed with chocolates, watching a movie, and I see my phone light up going, are you free? I really need some help. And I think it's not your time. It's my time right now. (laughs) And sometimes I will just let that go. Or sometimes I will say, go to a hospital. Because it's Saturday night. It's me time. And, you know, having a conversation with me is not going to save you every time. Because the other thing is at that point, they're not in, I'm going to get through this. They're in, please save me, please save me, please save me. And I don't like working with people that are in, please save me, because you're the one that's supposed to do the work. I'm the guide to tell you what work needs to be done. So this is it. Like I do this. (laughs) I literally sit watching TV, eating bonbons. And like, this is not, no, it's a no for you tonight. But that doesn't mean that at other times if people say, look, I'm having a problem, I'm like, hey, let's just get on the phone and and have a conversation because I'm taking care of me first. You need to do that as well in your life and not feel guilty about it. Because the thing is, when you take care of yourself in the biggest way possible, you're now in a space to help everyone else in a bigger way. Or even it's not even helping them. It's they want me to be there for their their wins and their celebrations and Okay. I've been given the title, you're to me, you know, this is what you are to me. You're my best friend for life. It's like a, a, a marriage vow. You're supposed to be what you signed up or you agreed to, but maybe I don't want to be all like whatever they've decided I am to them. Like, yeah, but you're not obligated to be what they've decided you're supposed to be. Yeah. So are you willing to step out of the story that you need to be what other people have decided you need to be? Yes. (laughs) Are you willing to step out of the story that if you don't give in to people, you will end up alone. Yes. There's some resistance on that one. In a way, I kind of feel blissful about being alone. I feel like alone is beautiful. But maybe I don't want to be alone. I don't know. But I, I kind of like the word alone. I like to be alone. There's there's a whole thing is that, oh, I, I, I want to be alone on my terms. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. But then there's times I want people and I'm afraid that at that time I do want people, no one's going to be around because I said no all the time. Yes. So that's what we're working on. So are you willing to step out of the story that if you start to say no, you will end up alone? Yes. <laughs> okay. 
remember the people that get you that appreciate who you are, they're going to stick around. They're going to get it. Oh, it's a no. Fine. Maybe another time. Cool. No, that'll, that'll be the relationship. And the, the, the interesting thing is when you do this, when you stay firm in your nose without guilt and people see who you are, you eventually end up with people that when they say, Laura, can you do this? It's a yes, because you've come into alignment with the right people. So you won't, you'll still be able to say no, but most of the time it won't need to be a no. It'll be like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. Let's do that. Yeah, I feel that I find I, I, sometimes I say yes to people that don't even matter as much because it's a no strings attached fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. The people that I'm supposed to, you know, that I've been with for so long are ones that I feel you know, those are the loaded, loaded ones that I don't want to say yes to, but I feel like, oh my God, how was it that I went with this person? Like they were to hear that or, or they're just, I don't know, you know, like it's, yeah, <laughs> I think. So are I think you I just, willing to step out of the story that the longer you've known someone, the more obligated you are to say yes? Ah, oh, yes, yes. That's the biggest one. <laughs> Yeah, that feels better. It feels much lighter. Yeah. And this thing, like, you know, with me and just this just came up recently with uh, with my roommate Justin. Um, I have to fly next week, and I have to be at the airport for six. So I said, "Hey, what are you doing at four a.m. next Wednesday?" <laughs> and, and he's just like, "What?" And I'm like, "You don't have to. I'm just throwing it out there." And he knows he could say no and just sleep while I spend a hundred bucks on a cap. I'm I'm going to be fine with that because that's what he needs to do. But there, there's no guilt in the question. There's no guilt in the answer. Right? That's the relationships you're going to create. That seems like utopia. I want to cry because <laughs> of how beautiful that is. <laughs> wow, I feel a lot freer. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.